Gonna start laying down some paint here. Just did some pencil sketching and uh, just put my primary colors down. If you can see that there, got yellow, blue, red, and white for now. I uh, try to avoid painting with black as much as possible, no matter how dark things get, because black itself uh, kind of voids the piece of a little bit of color. I think if you make black out of other colors like red and blue, you get uh, you can get some even add some yellow in there. You can get much more depth of color because black can have a lot of variations that you wouldn't normally think about. I'm just going to add some. Sometimes it's kind of hard to pick a place to start. You know, where do you start? I'm just going to start on the bushes here. It's going to be a little bit of a Italian landscape. These are sort of like a like a little vineyard. Now that we've got the pretty much finished image, finished painting, now we're going to get started doing the border, this frame area that as you can see has that base coat of yellow. Uh, however, it won't end up yellow. It is, it's going to be a, a nice rich blue color, but the yellow will certainly influence the palette and it will show through in all the different gaps and it'll look really nice. Doing some blue paint right on top of the yellow. You can see that uh, it does have sort of a green effect to it but as we do more. It'll have some nice layering going on and the blue will become more apparent. But the yellow still comes through in some of those areas. The camera will focus there, you can see that.
Okay, we're done with the painting of the, the frame area. As you can see, it's a lot different than the bright yellow that it started at, but it really does push through the layers of paint that I have here. And it even pokes through a lot of the little nooks and crannies and things that the paint will go into, which adds a really nice texture and lots of other colors that you don't notice until you look really close. Okay, this piece is done. Uh, back is all painted black, and it's uh, got a wire here ready to hang, and very easy to hang. Uh, just all you need is a drywall anchor, which I can provide, no problem, uh, or just a screw and a stud if that works better for you. And this one's all set to go. Uh, not sure if I mentioned before, this one's called A Stroll Through the Vineyard. And uh, it's ready to go. It'll be available on my website, ChristopherClark.com. You should check it out. Uh, it might be more affordable than you think. And uh, you too can have a really nice piece of original art in your house. And you saw how it was made uh, step by step. So uh, you can appreciate that it is completely handmade and unique. And no one else has one anywhere in the world but you. You will have it. That's it. Thank you very much.